It's the next day, and we have got the Tahoe in the shop now. Stood outside, and I am doing some removal work of these dog leg sections, and that's a lot of rust, guys. Um, just for it to be right in this area, uh, that's a whole lot of rot. And again, on the other side, I'm halfway through this one. Um, so here again, I just marked, made my mark on where my rust was. All this is still in good shape, so I'm not going to mess with replacing it. Um, just basically take these sections, cut them out, fold them down a little bit. You can kind of see all the trash and stuff in there. And that's just what flows back from the front up there to the back most of the time. Um, and then the water catches back there. It's a real problem from GM. Uh, has been on these body styles for a while now. Uh, but basically all we'll do, we'll come in and I'll mark them. And I'll cut here. I'll cut my piece out here. Cut here. Trim this edge down a little bit so it's feathered. Uh, weld it all into place and then this little section right here will drop right back into where it is factory um, down here along the edge you're supposed to the correct way to do it is to pinch weld it um, but uh, like I did on my truck when I put the rockers in I just took and I drilled pilot holes for each one through the remaining uh, if you don't have a lot of rot down in here, I'd leave it. Um, it's what I did on my truck, just so you got something to attach that panel to. Um, and drill some holes through this, along with the panel after it's welded into place. And then a uh, pot rivet gun is all I use to attach mine. Um, not as clean and sleek as a pop rivet but I mean a pop weld but at the same time I'm not trying to go into that much detail with it uh, you're not really gonna see these rockers as much unless you're looking for it um, but uh, I'm gonna get the rest of this one cut out and uh, get everything marked up and cut out for my other pieces and I'll pick you guys up when it's time to weld all right so I got part of this stuff uh, kind of lined out I'm doing some marks and stuff on these uh, so this is kind of best way I figured out how to do it I got a little clamp right there from hard freight nothing special holding it in place uh, getting all my marks and stuff done um, going to actually you can kind of see the the mark I have right there already I'm gonna lob that off there but I gotta cut just a little bit more off up here so we can weld all that in and make it look nice. Uh, I'm gonna get this piece cut and then I'll start working on the other side and I'll pick you guys up when I get there. Um, actually, I'll, I'm will i gonna cut this side up and get it all squared up and evened up and uh, then I'll, uh, I'll pick you up once I get ready to start welding everybody. All right, so I got this thing pretty much cut out and clamped into place. I'm getting ready to start tack welding it in place. Uh, just basically trimmed out and that gap there I can fill with a weld. Um, this one's going to be a little fun, but I'm going to get it. And as you can see, the fitment there fits in nicely. Once I'm all done welding it up and everything, I'm going to go through with the rivet gun and uh, just rivet some bottom pieces down here to keep it from flapping or anything like that. Uh, works really nice, actually, uh, instead of having to spot weld everything. Um, but I will pick you guys back up when I get done welding this thing up, and then it'll be off to the other side. Uh, we're back, and uh, I got everything welded up. That's not the best. I'm not a welder. I never have been. Um, never even been to school for it, never been taught. Just kind of self-learning, trying it out. Got a little Harbor Freight titanium uh, flux coil welder. That's not the greatest in the world, but uh, it does the job. You got these rockers in. I got them all ground down-ish. a couple of spots I got to keep filling in like there. And then 
there's nothing else here and then I've got the uh, GM factory sealant for that right there the the sealant they actually seal these joints with here I uh, used it on my rockers on my truck I keep a few little cracks I gotta fill in but for the most part after I do some body work over it I do a little bit of bondo right here you never see it um, got it nice and nice and tucked in there for the focus there we go and then I got this side all taken care of bought these little clamps right here at Harbor Freight as well uh, real easy they just kind of hold it in place as you're doing and this side I got a little bit bigger of a hole um, but I'm actually thinking I'm just gonna put some of the caulk in there or some of the the uh, body sealant that GM has and as well down here again now again I'm gonna do rivets down in the bottom I'm actually getting ready to start that now so uh, I will uh, pick you guys up after I get some of them done kind of show you what I'm working with here uh, there again Harbor Freight just went and picked up a little quick easy rivet gun a uh, couple of 316 drill bits drilled the pilot holes for them and then got the uh, got the rivets to go in there same thing I used on my truck uh, works out really well actually but uh, I'll pick you guys up after I get done all right guys got you set up I'm gonna try to stay out of the picture as much as possible but it's as simple as loading it in you gotta open the arms up let it sit down in there push it through the hole and it'll drop right out and then it's all right and then it's ready to go rivet it in Side done. Um, I think I'm gonna call it a day. It's been a long one. Um, all the body work and stuff. Pretty, pretty much finished. Um, Got to do a little bit. Sorry about the light. Uh, I do a little bit of primer sealer on some of these spots. So the bondo, as you might can tell, yeah. See how it's a matter color right here? That's actually the Bondo. Um, and what the primer does is it actually, the Bondo actually soaks the primer up a little more so than the paint will or the raw metal um, and causes it to do that. Mike can see it there as well. Yeah. Got a little bit of a low spot I can see in the camera. Uh, work on that too. But uh, it's not going to be perfect, guys. I'm not a body man, not a professional anyway. Uh, just doing what I can do in the backyard. Make sure I can make stuff look pretty and uh, just basically do what I do. We have got everything done. Uh, well, I'm actually letting the body filler uh, harden as we speak, but check this out, guys. Rockers are finished. Uh, got everything. Obviously, it's still got to be sanded out, and I still got to put the sealant there. Uh, other than that, both sides are complete, and probably gonna sand them tomorrow I'm not gonna fool with them tonight um, it's been another long day body work is definitely not easy a little bit of attention here that still needs to be taken care of we gotta fill that pin those pinholes up there but got this one done there again still gotta be sanded 
but uh, not bad, not bad if I do say so myself. The fitment on it's good. Obviously the Bondo is a little thick right there. Once I sand it down, it'll be a lot less of a gap or a lot more of a gap than than there is now. Um, but yeah, for the most part, guys, that's it. Um, I should be posting this one probably, you'll see, you should see it next week, but uh, thanks for watching, and uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, stay tuned for the next one.